Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing video of Intel SSD 330 series, the 180GB version. It's right here, in front of you. I just bought it today and the reason was I wanted to uh, upgrade my Toshiba uh, C660 with the SSD drive because I'm doing a lot of programming and a lot of uh, compilation and it's really, um, really slow with uh, using a normal hard drive. So. What I'm going to do is to unbox this, show you what's inside. Then in another video, I'm going to uh, install it on the laptop. And uh, also, I will show you how to migrate your uh, uh, current software operating system to the new SSC drive. Okay, so bear with me. So what I'm going to do... Uh, oh, what? Okay, here is it. Intel Solid State Drive 330 series for desktop and mobile systems. By mobile systems, I hope they mean uh, laptops. To be a surprise, it, it doesn't work on a laptop. Oh, just, just kidding. Okay, what's inside the box? There's the SSD drive itself. There's an installation kit for desktop computers. I mean, I think by that I, they mean a 3.5 inch adapter to bracket and screws and the SATA cable. That has six, so the three cables, and um, yeah, some links to some softwares. So let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm not going to open it from this side. I like to keep the um, keep that label there. I think we have to open it from this side. Okay, one. Oh, it has a very nice design. Some colorful. It's a little bit heavy, I think, because of that mounting bracket that is inside. So let's see. Sorry for my chair's noise. It needs some oiling. Okay. Done. Hmm. So little bit. I don't want to damage the box. So I'm trying to gently open this. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. And yes. box empty. Oh, attention, what's going on? Observe precautions for handling electronic sensitive devices. I think they're referring to ESD, but I don't know if uh, some ICO chips are exposed, so I don't think that it's a big deal. So, we open it here. We zoom a little bit in. Okay, you can see it. Hmm. Looks pretty good. To take the like this. Come on. Ah, I think you have to push it this way. Oh no, I damaged the box. Okay, here's the SSC drive itself. I'm going to pop this baby open. Right. I don't care about this sign anymore. Okay. It seems that the packet is uh, has been sealed, so I guess we have to open it like this. Yeah. And there's the drive itself. So it looks a uh, very nice aluminium case. I don't know if it's actually aluminium. Maybe it is. But it looks pretty nice. And it's shiny. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's very shiny and uh, looks pretty decent. So let's see what is written here. Um, some serial numbers. And, uh, ah, nothing so special. Okay. It came with the uh, something to keep it dry. <coughs> oh. Something to stick on your case or something. Don't like this design. Doesn't fit my bl with my black uh, Toshiba notebook. <coughs> and here's the uh, installation guide 
for the mounting bracket and uh, these things. Nothing so fancy. Mm. Okay, here's the guide for the laptop. The uh, notebook uh, installation guide. Maybe I will need it. But I already know how to do that. And there's a CD. I think this is for uh, migration software. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not. I think I'm going to use the Toshiba Recovery Media itself and install the Windows 7 again from scratch. And what else we have? Ah, oh. okay. The main weight of the box was still here. I mean, it's still here. The drive itself is pretty light, but uh, I don't know. I didn't. I before I bought. Um, SSD from OCZ and uh, they didn't supply these things and it was very a small box and uh, I paid a little bit less for postage because they dropped it in my mailbox instead of coming to my door and hand it in and uh, ask for my signature because I'm very famous they always ask for my signature they will happy to have my signature on their uh, devices okay <coughs> this looks like a SATA 6 cable I mean SATA 3, 6 gig. Looks pretty decent. Maybe I keep this and use it on my uh, PC. There's a Mulex to uh, SATA power cable. I will need, not need this for my laptop. Uh, there's some screws for the mounting bracket. 3.5 inch to uh, 2.5 I guess. I'm not gonna use that also. Some more screws. And here's the big deal itself. God, this is so heavy. Hmm. It's really it's very hard to take it out from the box. So they put this thing, so I think I need to push this hole here to pop this baby open. Yeah. There it goes. Hmm. It's really good. Maybe I can keep it and use it on my PC also. Okay. So again, there was a SSD series three, series 330 and uh, I read in some forums that uh, Intel is using the same chips and some NAND flashes and everything is the same with uh, 520 series which is much more expensive than this series but uh, I'm expecting to have similar performance from this one. I think the write speed on this one is a little bit less than the 520 series. Uh, and by the way, I bought this for um, 110 euros. Uh, pretty good price. The price has uh, dropped very, very much from last time I've checked for SSD. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure that if you want to see my replacement procedure, I mean uh, my uh, laptop laptop yeah I want to change this drive okay so um yeah I don't talk more just uh, if you like this video just uh, put it a thumb up or something yeah thanks for watching